this story is not to bash the subscriber. It's not to talk bad about the subscriber. It's just me sharing the story with you guys. Just let me know if it's cool with you. I know that it's plain to see. The way you maneuver, girl, you the flyest. Yes, indeed. Ain't playing no games with you. Can I have your signature? I'm your biggest fan. It's such an honor to be with you. Oh. What's up, Mella gang? It's your girl, Zomella, and I am back with another video. Back with another video. I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know what went wrong with the audio, but your girl tried to fix it, but for some reason, it's still not working. So I decided that I'm going to do a voiceover, so I hope you guys could understand. As you guys can see by the title, your girl will be giving you guys another story time. It's been a long time since your girl did a story time. I believe the last one was sometime last year. But your girl's back like she never left with the stories. <laughs> your girl is trying to hit 2K subscribers, so help your girl out. So let's just jump straight into the story. It was sometime last year when this person reached out to me, sent me an email, and basically said, I love the content that you put out on your YouTube channel. I'm one of your subscribers. I want to help you with your YouTube. When I first read the emails, like huh this sounds like one of my friends is playing a joke on me but then i'm like okay who has this amount of time to be playing with people like you have that much time and you ain't got no life period 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 so i was like okay so let me write this person back so i was like thank you so much and can you send me the link to your website and the person was like no this is not a company i'm just a subscriber of yours and i just want to help out with your channel and i was like oh so you just a subscriber and he was like yeah i'm just a subscriber in my head, I'm like, this person want to give me money for my YouTube channel? And also to help out with buying clothes for four hauls. So this is when it got weird to me a little bit because it's like, you want to help me out with my channel, but at the same time, you're doing it just to see me in different outfits. Like, I have several hauls on my YouTube channel. I don't care if it's a girl. I don't care if it's a boy. I do not want anybody to be sending me money for my YouTube channel. Like, I have no issues with buying my own clothes. Like, even sometimes I have companies who reach out to send me stuff, so... It's not an issue for me to do hugs. I appreciate the subscriber for wanting to help me out. I made my YouTube channel to help people out and to entertain you guys. I really love sitting in front of the camera, like, can't you tell? I wouldn't feel comfortable with knowing that I'm doing a haul and it's not even a company who sent it to me. It's not like I'm working with someone that sent it to me. It's just a subscriber who sent it to me to do more hauls. Like that doesn't sit well with me. As a young lady, you have to remember you have to keep yourself at a level where guys and females cannot disrespect you because whatever you put out in the universe is exactly what you will get back. It's a lot of things that I could have done for my YouTube channel to take off for me to get more views, more subscribers. But I wasn't raised to just take money from people. Like, that's just not in me. Like, that's when people start disrespecting you. That's when people start thinking they own you and they embarrass you whenever they feel like it. Baby, you ain't ever gonna try Melissa. And that's a big thing, okay? So what's on my mind is this has to be a joke. This is somebody playing with me because I'm not even at 1K subscribers yet. And I already have someone trying to reach out to me to send me money. At this point, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely one of my friends playing with me. But okay, I got you. I got you. All right. I'll meet you with this next email. I was just like, thank you so much for believing in my channel. So the person wrote me back and the person was like, what's your cash app? And I'm like, say no more. Because I really thought it was like one of my friends playing games on me. I'm like, girl, go ahead. Send me that money. Send me that money. Okay. I gave them my cash app. And you guys, I promise a few seconds later. Y'all know how a cash app usually makes the sound when somebody sends you money? So I look at my phone, I'm like, somebody sent me $200. And that's when I was like, okay, this is really not one of my friends. This is really someone that I don't know. So right away, I cash out the money because I know I'm getting ready to send it right back to them. Like, you wasn't really playing. You was like, dead serious. So I sent another message to the subscriber and I was just like, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So right away, I sent them another message and I said, thank you so much, but I cannot accept this money from you. I'm so grateful to have a subscriber who's willing to help me that much with my channel. The best way you can support me is by liking and sharing my channel. That's the biggest way anyone can support me. So the person was just like, okay, I could understand that. So I just want to let you know, just keep up with your channel with everything that you're doing. And I was just like, thank you. And that's pretty much it. To this day, I hope I still have that person as a subscriber of mine. I'm not going to lie. I was a little sad to see that money go away. That 200 could have done a lot. I'm just playing. <laughs>
it would have been different if it was like your significant other or your friend that sent you that money. You could have been like, oh, yeah, girl, I'm definitely about to cash out. But the fact that it's a complete stranger, that's what makes the whole situation so weird. I still can't believe that someone tried to send me that much money. And the other thing is I could understand if someone like maybe sent you like 20 30 $40. But $200, that's a lot of money. I could do like about three hauls with that. And y'all know I'm shopping on a discount. That's pretty much a story on one of my subscribers sending me $200. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. What would you guys do? Put it down in the comment section and tell me what you guys would have done. Because a lot of people would have probably take this money and be like, yes! <laughs> no, it's not like that for me at all. I like getting my own money by myself. And that's just on that. Thank you again, Mellow Game, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And click on that notification bell so you guys can be notified when your girl upload anything new. Just let me know if it's cool with you. I know that it's plain to see. The way you maneuver, girl, you the flyest. Yes, indeed. Ain't playing no games with you. Can I have your signature? I'm your biggest fan. It's such an honor to be with you. Oh.